Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that was pretty obvious. A bit hard to miss that part. I'll give you that. Should probably go and turn off the generator first. Wait, what? Wolfman? What the heck are you doing in here? Now that's spooky. Some dot inside our house. Okay, the figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? Okay. Are you a communist? Comrade? I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weaklings, meat. Do you follow? Yes, I get it. Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. Okay, he grabs a map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Okay. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for your meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark. And pray for the morning light. Show item, photo of a road. What's that you got there? Ha ha ha, this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees, like all the other ones. He throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. Okay, plastic chick. <laughs> Beautiful item, perfect for a church fair. Trade. Okay, we can actually buy and sell things. I buy weapons and ammo. Yeah, okay. We don't really have that. We can sell him lockpicks, but I'd rather not. We could sell him board with nails, but I don't think we have enough to make another one. Unless we are able to buy an actual weapon from him. Chain. Metal pipe. 60. We could sell board with nails and buy a metal pipe. I mean, that's a better weapon, right? We could also sell one bandage and then buy a metal pipe. Seems reasonable. We still got more bandages and they aren't that hard to make. I assume a metal pipe will not break as easily as a board with nails. But alright, let's go like this. That's good enough. If you wish to spend more quality time basking in the striking yet natural beauty of my features before you head off to the silent forest, you will find me in my camp in the dry meadow. He points to a location on the map. Okay. So that would be... where? Well, that's literally here. Oh, he will just stay here. All right. Fair enough. Reputation with him seems to be just currency. So let's leave board with nails in here. And we'll just bring the metal pipe with us. That seems reasonable. All right, time to go and explore some more. Let's go, shall we? We need to get some planks to repair the well. Alright, let's go. This time we'll go south, I guess. Dry meadow, old woods, silent forest. So we should avoid the silent forest, <laughs> I assume. At least for now. That seems like a safe bet. 
All right, let's go then. Oh, also, turn off the generator. Before we leave. Can we see how much fuel there is left? I don't think so. No, I don't think we can see that. It would be a little bit awkward if it ran out of food in the middle of the night. That would be a bit of a problem. Probably. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, so wait, can we actually use that metal pipe as a weapon? Hold on. Uh, no, we can't? Wait, really? We can't use a metal pipe as a weapon? Are you serious? Come on now. Well, apparently we can't use a literal metal pipe as a weapon. I got trolled. Can we craft anything with it? Let's see. No, not really. Well then, I bought a metal pipe. Go me. Hardened, more nails. Okay, if we get more metal scrap, we can make a hardened board with nails. Oh, yeah, we need the metal pipe to improve the board with nails. So that was actually useful. We just need two more metal scrap. Okay. Let's try to find two metal scraps then, shall we? See, that was totally planned. I totally knew that. Which is why I bought the metal pipe, obviously. Let's go. Yes, we'll switch places with the rubber duck in the end. Oh, nice. More metal scrap. We need just two more metal scrap. That's it. Was that one or two? Yeah, now we have enough. So before we go any further, we can actually make a better weapon. You know, just in case we end up actually fighting something. Let's go and make one really quick. So, upgrade item. Hardened. There's no room for upgrades. Oh, we have to upgrade the workbench first. That's just rude. Alright, never mind. That will probably take a while. Let's just go and explore some more. Go and find something useful. Yes, I have enough, but I can't actually do it without an upgraded workbench. And upgraded workbench requires like a shit ton of planks or whatever. I'm just trying to avoid that dog. Your location. Burned houses. Looks like there's like a dog or a wolf inside. Let's search this place. There are several. Red seesaw. Oh, great. I stepped into the mushrooms. Whoops. Oh, yeah, they will attack us. Okay. Got one. We got some meat. That will come in handy. Uh, did I pick it up? 
I didn't throw it, did I? I might have done that. Well, there's one more. Where the heck is that meat? Maybe use the bandage before we try to engage. Okay, let's try to kill it. Might be a bad idea, but whatever. I need to practice combat a little bit, right? Which is harder than you might think. Here, we got it. Okay, more meat. Yeah, I think I threw that other meat somewhere. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. Why does this icon change? That meat still has to be somewhere. Alright, never mind. I don't want to waste too much time looking for it. I want to search the house first and foremost. Without the dogs bothering me. We got some rugs. Not super useful, but I'll take it. Some logs. Okay, a board and some nails. Oh, another one. Well then, I think we'll have to kill it to search this house. Let's try to... Yep, it's attacking. Yeah, it's harder than you think. Need good timing with the attacks. I'll need a little bit of practice. There, got it. Alright, let's search the house. Is there another one? I heard something. Well, let's take a look around. Yep, there's another one. Okay. Got it. There. Didn't take any damage this time. Nice. Let's search this place. I'm sure we can find something useful in here. Yeah, without stepping into crap, preferably. There goes the bandage. Okay. Alcohol, that will come in handy. Some rags, that can always be used for bandages. A note from the burned house. I know they're here, I can hear them laughing. They're behind the wall of trees. I can't get through by myself, the trees grow back too fast. And the odd looking mushroom. Okay. We can drag the sofa, there might be something underneath. Probably not, but you know, worth checking. Yeah, there's actually something in there. Nice. A container. We got some fabric. And a white dress. That's a little bit creepy, but alright. Anything else in here? We'll check outside before we leave. I just want to search inside first. So, boards and nails. I can still hear a dog somewhere around here. We can probably avoid that one. I think we got everything that was important around here. Disassembled tractor, gasoline and a tire, nice. Not a whole lot of gasoline, but we'll need that for the generator. Destroyed well, we got a rope. That was quite a productive expedition right there. Alright, I think we should go back. And actually use the stuff we picked up. And also leave it in the workbench. 
Okay. So that's the place. Burned houses. It does look pretty promising so far. I like the general atmosphere. I like the idea behind the game. Oh yeah, there's a dog around here, isn't it? Also, we might want to repair that board with nails. Yep, this is just day two. I only really just got started. Oh yeah, there's a dog right here. Let's not fight that one, we don't have to. I'm just going back to our place right now. Okay, so. Gasoline goes in. Everything we don't need to carry around with us goes in. Uh, oh yeah, and we can cook. Let's maybe do that. Odd looking mushroom. Okay. Oh, what's this? Once a day I will be able to heal myself by standing next to an electric light source. Once a day I will be able to learn my current location on the map. I will be able to heal myself by eating mushrooms. I will be able to see farther. Okay, that's a very interesting choice. Huh. Well, I'm leaning towards either mushroom eating or eagle eye. With how limited visibility is in this game, eagle eye would be quite useful, but healing yourself without the need for bandages would also be useful. Interesting. Navigator sounds like the least useful right now. It's a tough choice. Let's go for Eagle Eye. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we have to choose a negative perk. Oh, okay. Staying in dark areas at night can be dangerous to me, but wasn't that already the case? Weird. Alright, Eagle Eye it is then. So, back to the workbench. Let's see. Dump the meat in here, the rugs, the boards, the nails. Now, can we upgrade the workshop? We need more planks, as in boards. These. Which means we need to go outside. Convert wood logs to planks. Minus 25 fuel. Okay. I don't think we can convert anything right now. We have to repair that board with nails. Let's maybe do that. That will actually use one board or one plank, whatever. It still has decent durability, something like 40%. Seems like around 40%. We need to go and find more boards. Like, a lot more. Seems like we still have time before night time. But I would prefer to not go too far. Oh, and before we go, let's make some bandages, in case we end up fighting again. That will do. Alright, let's go. 
don't waste too much time. We can go southwest-ish. Well, something like that. Shouldn't go too far away. I have no idea how much more time we have before nightfall. Probably not that much. Poisonous mushrooms. We can't pick them up. Just don't step into them. I can still hear a dog somewhere around here. How's the game so far? Seems interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. Looking forward to seeing more. Doesn't look like we'll find a whole lot down here. So if you're still outside when night starts, are you completely screwed? Like, automatically die or whatever? Oh hey, we found some wooden logs. That was useful. Can we find more? Yes, we can. Nice. That's pretty much exactly what we needed. New location on the map. Okay, that's a lot of logs. And a lot of nails. We got 36 nails now. I think we got all of them. Surged. Yep, looks like we got all of them. Alright, let's move on. So we are exactly here. Directly south of our hideout. Should probably start going back, to be honest. <coughs> oh, it will attack us. Hey, that's not very nice. I was just saying hi. I think it's getting a little bit dark. Yep, we should definitely go back before we get killed. It's... yeah, it's getting dark for sure. Well, let's find out just how much time we got. Right, there's no point opening the map because we can't actually see ourselves on the map. It's just a habit from other games. Yeah, there's no time indicator. Now he tells you that you must return. But it's pretty obvious visually already. It's kind of hard to miss. Switch on the generator. No idea how much gasoline we have left. I don't actually have any on me. It's back inside the house. I assume it won't run out literally in the middle of the night. I have no idea if that's possible or not. So can we like board up this wall? I mean this hole? Drag. That doesn't seem to be an option to board it up. Or is it? No. It's not an option to board it up, as far as I can tell. Well, just block it with the wardrobe then. I don't have any other ideas. And close the actual door. Here. Do we want to grab anything? Board with nails looks fine at the moment.
Okay. Well, we can barricade the door, but that uses wooden planks. We don't have nearly enough. Where's the light? Oh, the generator ran off, so it can run out, like, in the middle of the night. That's a bit of a dick move, when there's no indication how much fuel that is left in there. Well, I assume that's going to be a bit of a problem, then. Read, we're probably going to die. But does it matter if you die, like, right next to your hideout, when you respawn inside? And just have to run back for your inventory? No idea how that works yet. Well, I have to go there. Don't really have much of a choice. Okay, there's the generator. Even opening the inventory takes a moment. Here. Now we can turn it on. Okay, that's better. Back we go. Through the massive hole in the wall. I don't like this hole, like, at all. There has to be a way to repair it, but we can figure it out in the morning. Not right now. And close the door. So now we wait. The windows are barricaded. Not that I have enough planks to barricade them any better. So now we wait for the next day. And that's day two. Or that was day two. Yeah, that's not the door, though. That's literally like a hole in the house. The door is on the north side. So what happens if you don't find any gasoline? Can you still survive the night? If you don't have fuel for the generator? I assume there has to be some way you don't have to like restart the entire game. Oh yep, yeah, I saw something over there. Okay. Well, my weapon is ready. It was a spooky ghost. Something is going on with that lamp over there. Which skill did I choose? Uh, better visibility. As in better vision or whatever. Oh, hi! You're one ugly motherfucker. Can we actually kill him? <laughs> okay, we can dodge a bit. Easier said than done. I think I got him. Dead savage. We got a bottle and a rag. Let's use the bandage. The board is almost broken. Can we get daytime yet? That would be really appreciated. Okay, there's the music happening now, so it's about to be daytime. Our weapon is almost broken.
And that's it. That's day three. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day here. It's getting a little bit late, 1 a.m., and this was an unplanned stream to begin with. But I'm quite liking this game so far. I will definitely do more on the next stream. And I'll see you next time. Good night. Watch out for the spooky ghosts. <laughs>